everybody, I'm Amanda with the St. Louis Science Center Science Off Center team and today I'm going to show you a fun experiment you can do at home that is all about making some slimy science. So everybody likes slime, right? It's gooey and stretchy and it's just fun to play with. So I'm going to show you how you can make some of your own slime at home. A fun thing about slime is it's made out of polymers. Polymers are a very special type of molecule. We'll pretend this is a water molecule. It's kind of small, it's not taking up a lot of space. A polymer molecule is a really long chain of molecules and because it's made of long chains, it gives polymers and plastics their special properties. And we have something here on the table that's got polymer molecules in it. I have some Elmer's glue. You can use any type of glue and we're gonna use this as the base of our slime. So, we will need a plastic bag or a cup or something to mix it in. I like to use a plastic bag. We'll need some glue, that's going to be our base. And we're going to need some regular old tap water. If you like to color your slime, a little food coloring works well. And we're going to need some borax. Borax is getting harder and harder to find, but you can still find it at the grocery store. I've had the best luck with Deerberg's. So you can look around and see if you can find a good old powdered laundry starch in the laundry detergent aisle. And that works great. So we are going to start with our glue. And the recipe for making some homemade slime is basically equal parts glue, water, and borax solution. So I'm going to pour a bunch of glue into my Ziploc bag. And then to help make your slime a little bit stretchier, we're going to take the regular water and just add a little bit of that in. So if you had like a tablespoon of glue, you'd put a tablespoon of water in there. And that's just going to help our glue kind of loosen up and get a little slimier. And now it's time for the coloring. So I've got some blue food color here. So I'm going to squirt a little bit of that into my bag and just kind of mix it up. You have to mix a little gently. I notice I don't have my bag closed. You might want to close your bag if you're mixing it up like this. And just squeeze the bag gently so you don't pop your bag because that's a mess. Right now we've just got watery glue that's turned blue in there. And now it's time for the special ingredient. The borax is what's going to turn our glue into slime. Our long polymer chains that are in the glue, they're kind of ready to slip and slide around. But the borax has a special molecule called boron in it, and it's going to get right in the middle of our polymer chains, kind of like rungs on a ladder, and keep them from slipping and sliding so much. And that's going to help our glue be a little more slimy and stretchy. So I've got just some borax powder mixed into this water, and I'm taking a look at it just to make sure that it's super saturated. I want a lot of borax in there and a lot of powder in there. And I'm going to, I'm going to pour a lot of that in there. And then I'm going to close up my bag and start moving it around with my hands. Now the borax will get things solid pretty quickly. It'll make that glue into slime pretty quick. So once we've added that borax in there, the reaction's taking place and nothing else can be added. So it's really hard to add food coloring at this point. Make sure you do that before you put the borax in. Now we've got a lot of extra liquid in there, but that's okay, because that just means we have to play with our slime to get it good. So here's my slime starting right now. It's a little wet, but the more I play with it, the stretchier it's going to get, and the slimier it's going to get. 